Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Diablo 4, we're taking a look and judging Act 2, because, you know, now it's complete, and we're taking a look at my current Necromancer build that I have going on with Act 2. Act 2, all in all, was pretty fun. It was a good story. It lasted me, I think, two and a half to three hours? Act 2 was very short compared to, like, Act 1 in Diablo 4, so who knows how long Act 3 is going to be, but... Act 1 took me maybe 4 hours, 3.5 hours. Act 2 took me maybe 2.5 hours or so. So Act 3, maybe it'll take another 3 to 4 hours, and then we'll be done the main story of Diablo. I'm not uh, doing any side quests for the most part. I'm just trying to do the main story, so that's why. If there's a side quest on my way, I'll try to get it done, but if not, oh well, right? This is how much of the map I have right now unlocked. And that's without doing many of the side quests. You can hold 20 side quests at a time. I have 15 right now. And as you can see, they are everywhere. I have a ton that I could pick up while I like run around some cities. But I'm not trying to grab all of them because this is where Act 3 starts. And I kind of have to do that. It took me honestly like 30 minutes to get to Act 2. Because it took me like ages to go from here to here because I was just like killing some enemies, doing events and some side quests, stuff like that. But that's how my Act 2 journey went. It was pretty easy. All the side quests so far level up with you, so I'm not in any rush to get these done at all, right? I'm gonna do the main quest, then I'm gonna do all of the side quests and more exploration as I level up my account and get ready for like Paragon levels, right? That's how I think it's probably like a good thing to do. Once we unlock and finish off the main story though, that's when we'll work on our collection here, as you can see in the top, right? Uh, our collection rewards so that we can get the fa uh, plus four paragon points, but we can only do up to here for now anyway, so it, it barely even matters, right? It doesn't matter, we're getting there. Act two overall, story-wise, was pretty good. It was pretty generic though. I didn't, you know, see anything that I didn't expect coming, but it was really fun, good, general cutscenes. Diablo is always really good with cutscenes. And uh, the characters are pretty cool. It's just like, man, Act 2 was literally two and a half hours for me. Maybe it had like 10 minutes of cutscenes and some dialogue. It was just like really short, you know? It was cool for what it was, but it was just so short. So I expect the Diablo 4 story is gonna be like pretty cool, pretty interesting, nothing too mind-blowing, but the cutscenes will be great. And that's kind of how it's gone so far, right? We already knew what happened in Act 1 because of the beta, and that overall, you know, was a pretty good act. Act 2 is honestly more of the same, so if you saw Act 1, get ready for Act 2 too, Electric Boogaloo. And then Act 3, I imagine, is going to be a little bit more of the same as well. So, the story in Diablo 4, while it's not bad, it's just, you know, exactly what I expected, I guess. It's nothing new and nothing, like, uh, too surprising, so... Yeah, it's a Diablo story. If you like Diablo 3, you'll probably like Diablo 4 in uh, terms of how story goes and everything. So, yeah, some cool cutscenes, but just not a lot. Now, let's take a look at my Necromancer build and see what is going on. So, I'm a level 28. I think I technically killed the final boss at like 26 or 27, but that doesn't matter. Level 28 character, and this is what I was running. I was doing Corpse Explosion with Corpse Tendrils. But that is impossible to do once you have a golem, and once you're like a full minion summons build in this. So, how is my ability tree looking so far? Keeping it on decompose here, just for some damage minions and some more essence. Keeping on bone spear and going uh, this way now for vulnerability, for some more damage. We'll probably swap bone spear out for blight onto supernatural blight after. But for now, this is what we're going with, right? Then our damage ability will be Corpse Explosion, as you can see right here. One of our damaging abilities, right? This is just because we spawn up so many corpses, because I am a minion build. I summon a lot of minions from those corpses, and then I blow up those minions. I took this to get some essence, so we'll see if this stays in by the end of it or not. It's hard to say. And of course, we have to always upgrade our minions. Upgrade our minions where we can. Upgrade our minions. This is the only thing we actually take here. Kind of funny. Here, nothing right now, right? I could uh, take Necrotic Carapace, and I might take this, just not right now. 
because if I run out of ability points, uh, buying out all of my minion stuff, all of my minion stuff here and here and here, right? This like you, if you're doing a summons build, you want all of this. This is if you do no summons. This is what I'm gonna be picking for summons. Uh, this one right here. But I believe you can also do Shadow Blight for summons, right? It's not too bad, but I'm going to be doing Kalan's Edict, which means I don't get attacked, I run away, I hide, my minions slap everybody, right? So that's my general build. Again, I was using Corpse Tendrils with the vulnerability one, but then I swapped that out once I got my Golem. I'm going to be leveling up my Golem along with my healing of my and my tankiness of my characters. Minions, yeah. So that is my current minion summons build. Let me know what you think, judge it. I don't think it's gonna be like the best super meta build or anything stupid like that. No, no. I just wanna play summons and minions in Diablo. So we'll see how that goes. We can always swap our build out later and we can always create more characters and have multiple builds and whatnot. So, hey, I want a summons minions necromancer and that is what we are doing. So here is my minions build so far so far, okay? Makes me feel like uh, we're talking about them yellow banana minions, right? So you can swap these and apply them however you want in whatever order. I just like to have the healing off that. This so that they don't get one shot. And I have my ulti for Army of Dead. Because let's be honest, Army of Dead is pretty cool. It spawns and summons uh, enemies, right? It just spawns a bunch of suicidal exploding minions, right? Look at my golem, he gets angry. Look at that! Right, I got corpse explosion here. Look at that, boom, boom. And then I have like summons, right? Fun fact, I haven't got any yet, but you can get gear that increases the amount of total summons you can have. Once I get uh, end game gear, I can have even more summons, right? Like I could summon six, seven, eight melee minions. Uh, maybe I could summon five or six ranged minions. So there's a lot of buffs you can get from gear later on that we just aren't getting yet as well. So yeah, for now, this is my Diablo 4 Act 2 Necromancer summons, or like minions build, okay? My general review and build for Act 2. It's pretty good. The story is generic, and but good, right? So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious. I'm just going to be making a ton of Diablo 4 videos as I can. Expect more random Wayfinder videos and Warframe videos and then Final Fantasy videos when Final Fantasy 16 comes out. So, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun streaming, playing other games whenever I get the chance. So, thank you, thank you. Sub, like, and check out all the content streaming on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, there's so many. Yeah.